This is bullshit. A few months ago, I bought a fake J Blood bumper. They're called Driven by Style. And by no means, I'm trying to start beef with them or anything like that. This is my personal customer experience, and it's not good. That bumper was complete. What the? F that thing didn't fit right. Here is the bumper. Um, obviously, this would sit in a lot more flesh. Oh. Sh I had to take off the crash bar just to make it fit even better. 253 right here. However, you have to pay the shipping fee and the tax, and that will total out to basically 380. Almost 400 dollars Because it was made out of fiberglass, it was not flexible at all. So I couldn't really manipulate the bumper to the car and make it fit as best as possible. Because if I did any more than that, it literally probably break off like a bag of chips. Here's the biggest issue. This is part of the headlight slightly damaged from the shipping. So so originally I filed a claim. They want me to send pictures of my documentation. Had little chips here, you know, chips on the on the headlight where the bumper is. Bumper had a couple scratches, but I wasn't too worried about that. To this day, I still do not have a refund from that fake J Blob bumper. This is the company's return policy. If you have any reason that you're not completely satisfied with your purchase, you may return your item within 30 days of delivery of your order. I'm not gonna read through all of it, but y'all guys could like literally stop the screen and watch it they were actually replying pretty quick so i do appreciate that but there's something that i do not appreciate i did ask if we could do like some sort of partial refund right here just anything any money that i could get back from this because honestly the bumper was so bad like i could i have no use for it like i literally can't do nothing with it this company does not manufacture anything they literally hire a manufacturer to produce their products they pay them to produce the products and then they tell them to ship it wherever they need to go it says uh, i escalate your claim to extreme dimensions which is basically the third party or middleman of this you know i'm not a perfect guy or anything like that there is a policy you need to sign for i think most people have been in my position and literally just skim through it or just check i agree and stuff like that and we go about our days it said like you need to sign off as damage but during that time i didn't know so when the delivery guy came he literally dropped off the package and then left but what you're supposed to do open it up right then and there and if you see anything that's damaged, you got to tell the delivery man, mark it as damage. So that way you have the possible chance of getting the full amount of refund that you pay for, which is kind of BS because as soon as he dropped it off, he left. It's like when you expect to buy something new, you expect it to come in, you know, good condition. Now, there was some part on mine. It's like, OK, well, I did buy a cheap bumper from a unknown company and it just kind of sucks. It's like dude i'm being reasonable and it seems like he's replying back but the thing is it's like it's always it's always in a loophole the product came in it was already damaged can you at least try to help you know refund for the damage at least unfortunately the damage was not documented at the time of delivery i can offer a small partial refund of 40 bucks however we're unable to proceed with the damage claim with carry at this time we apologize for inconvenience that we might have caused please advise 40 bucks it's like dude i do not have time to be fixing this i'm a one-man team i'm the one that's editing the videos managing the emails creating the new ideas i do not have time to fix a fiberglass bumper that already fits like sh do not go too cheap and i think that's kind of what i uh realized don't go too cheap and if you do go cheap just go ebay or amazon